for a berth in the AFC Championship game. Off we go in the divisional round of the NFL playoffs. And we will not see a run back on the opening kickoff. This will be a touchback. Time to see what Patrick Mahomes can do here with his first possession. The quarterback out of Texas Tech getting set to lead this KC Chiefs offense. And he and his team, they were the beneficiaries of a first-round bye earned by a tremendous regular season. He'd been a little bit nicked up so he could use the rest. And I'm sure his teammates felt the exact same way. But now it'll be interesting to watch their first few drives in this one. Because sometimes getting the rest is great, but sometimes you accumulate a little bit of rust as well. And nothing but green grass here in the middle of the field. A huge play there right off the bat. 63 yards. Well, my dad would say sometimes I'm just scratching my head here trying to figure out what was going on there defensively. How did you lose him in the middle of the field? If you're going to lose a receiver, make sure it's someone on the short side of things not deep downfield that can hurt your defense. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Ah. From the three, second and a yard. Headed straight, it's Pacheco. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Pacheco, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Chiefs are on the board first here in this division round matchup. Extra play by Carlson, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. She's in the kitchen. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And he'll be dropped at the 20. Never leave him alone. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. Move along in there. The Broncos for their first drive He's of the game. Down. They'll be led out by the former number three overall pick back in 2021. It's Trey Lance. And if he and his guys want to spring the upset here in the second round and move on, they've got to focus on the good that they did in the wild card victory. At the top of that list, protecting the football. Got a little care last week if you got away from him might not be so fortunate this time around and if that's the case they'll end up going home now a deep ball there on second down but it'll wind up incomplete they come up now third and five following the incomplete pass throwing now is Lance but that would be incomplete they are such a talented team of defending the perimeter and taking away throws to the outside Great confidence, great skill. Lance to throw for it on fourth down. He has a man. It's complete to Wilson. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Play action. Now it's Lance. This will complete to Jerry Judy. His first catch of the divisional round goes for a first down. He had five catches last week in their wild card win. They'll run out of the gun here, Williams. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Shotgun now for Lance. Forced out to his left. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. Throwing his lance on third down. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Well, it's been a tough go for him. These guys have been driving down the field, but defensively, once they got their backs to the goal line, turned up the pressure, that's going to lead to a fourth down. Well played. And his kick is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So both teams come away with Whoa. points on their opening drive. They still trail. They answered that. the touchdown with a field goal, but at least able to break that goose egg here early. And that is what's important, right? Because they didn't let that initial touchdown 
go unanswered. Took the ball themselves, moved it downfield, and put it through the post for three points. Game on. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled it to 20. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. A big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. Now Mahomes on the bootleg. Able to get away. Throw left side complete. That's Rice. This will be stopped about two yards. Fucking great with me, bitch ass nigga. Oh, he's injured. Second and two. On second down, here's Mahomes. A uh, rifle's one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Asante Samuel Jr. He's to the 15. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Bronco defense has a touchdown. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead is now 10-7. A heck of a play there yeah. defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So, Tana, look at them. Look at them. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. Look at them. 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 The Chiefs offense set to go. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines to run and for the goal. Right? You're not hearing everyone say, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. On first and ten, here's Pacheco. Justin Simmons up from his safety spot to make the tackle. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be, but still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. Meanwhile, Mahomes throw there complete to Myers. His second catch, and this one not nearly as electrifying as his first, and it'll bring up third down now. Throwing now is Mahomes. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Hogan. And he will have the Chiefs first down by a couple of yards as they're able to get four there on third and two. Looking to throw is Mahomes. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Offense is moving them a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they're in a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try them out of stand before they're backed up even further. Mahomes firing complete. It's a gain of 34. I think they will argue that having that extra week definitely helps them play all the time. And those were some fresh legs right there. That extra practice time and planning, certainly in evidence. Now Mahomes. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Two yards left on second down from the nine. Now it's Mahomes again. And it's throwing complete. And the defender all over at that time. And it's going to lead to third down. Play number nine set to come here on the drive on third and two. They'll try for the first with Pacheco. And not going to be able to push this forward. He runs into a wall right at the line of scrimmage. They'll run for it with Pacheco. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. Down, Denver. Down. Or Jacob. So you remember. It's an unbuck. 
Where's the red? From KC, it's the Chiefs in possession of the football. Go get some pussy. I told him to my son. It's like I'm playing. You already done cooking? Oh, that was fast. Can they hold their ground for two? Maybe even three more plays. Now they'll throw with Mahomes. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. I know every offense wants to start their snaps closer to the goal line, but it's actually harder to throw the ball in those situations. You throw into that tight coverage, you see what happens. Hard to get the ball in there. Not enough space there. Lucky. Left sideline of down, and looks like he's got it. That is caught by Touchdown. That's cute. That's cute. Watch this though. That's cute. Watch this though. That's cute. That's cute. That's cute. Wait, what size are you cooking? Corn? Or wait? Oh yeah. And I don't know. Around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. The Broncos yeah. are over the field ready to start their next drive. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it, forced go? to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. Like going to the county fair, you don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. Yeah, I'm calling right now. Now a play fake. Lance. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Off of play action, and here's Lance. Rolling to his right. Bitch, fuck! Trying to dial up the long way out there, but it'll be third down. Well, I think you have to forgive him just a little bit here because he's out of the way and trying to make a play. But he rushes this throw and just wings it downfield right over the head of his wide open receiver. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll take this to the 47, but no further as they get him down well short of the line to gain. And they'll go for it. Lance, he'll buy some time right. And that's caught inside the 30. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Now Lance again, rolling to his left. Man open left side is huh? Williams. You gain a five. Oh, sure hurt. Second down. And that's Mine's all out. All the drills that you're doing from the quarterback position, because you're not going to just throw to your strength. The right-handed quarterback naturally will want to move to the right side to yeah. take the football. But sometimes you got to go left, and that's exactly what happened on that play. Force to his left, still able to accurately throw it downfield for a completion. On play action, Lance. And Walker has it. A gain of seven that time. Second goal. Williams, he is going nowhere in a hurry as he is going to lose yardage here in a big way. A big one coming to the division. We can call it again. Third and goal. They're rolling out right. And he'll take it into the end zone. Check on the bed. And the Broncos have moved out in front. Point after, right down the middle. And it's now yeah, the pin. Oh, yeah, that, is that the zipper one? So What's on it right now? Pretty time consuming 10 plays. And it was Trey Lance taking it in himself to cap the drive. There was one that was plugged in the wall. Did you try the silver one that's on the ash that's on the rolling tray? The Broncos kickoff unit out there to kick this one away. 
And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. KC's offense ready to take over. So remember, Charles, last time they were out here, they scored, but they just saw the opposition score, and they're trailing right now, so they're trying to keep pace here. They need a touchdown drive. Well, if you're a fan of offense, you're loving this, but if you're a fan of defense, this is tough to watch, and it's also tough to keep that open. You just watch your opponent march down the field on a scoring drive to less than the double-digit snaps. You need a score here not just to follow the momentum from your last drive, but to put the onus back on your opponent, and that's what they're doing right now, swapping that onus. Back and forth. covers 24 yards. It's a first down. That's something else to feel good. It's not all the time that the play call should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drop keeps moving. But he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. And again, it's Mahomes. That's caught by Myers. Hell no. Another nice game. That's now 30 yards between those last two. Who the ball is there? This has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago. Oh, man, they got the kitchen. That person's got the kitchen. Nice throw there. And they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Mahomes' throw caught by Tony. And out of bounds inside the 10. Mark it down at the 9. Second ah. action, two minutes to go on divisional round weekend. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. 43, 43. They go play action. Now Mahomes. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Patrick Mahomes, a nine-yard touchdown run. And the Chiefs have yet again retaken the lead. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And that will make this a four-point game. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. And the officials here are going to pause the game for a second. Looks like there's an injured chief on the field. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. But right now, we've got a little bit of an offensive masterpiece going on. Both sides moving the football, scoring points. It's almost like somebody... And that's caught at the 25! A huge play there for Denver. 43 yards. First down now, but that clock rolling. Here's Lance. Steps away to his left. Touchdown Broncos! Garrett Wilson, a 24-yard touchdown as they have taken the lead. The extra point splits the uprights, and that gives them a three-pointer. The long touchdown pass gets them six on a very, very tidy two-play drive that time. The Broncos kickoff unit out there to kick this one away. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. Now the Chiefs offense, they get ready to head on the field. And you figure, Charles, they have enough time here in the first half, more than a minute, to put a drive together, at least get them in position to try a field goal. Yeah, they get all three timeouts at their disposal, so I'm actually thinking bigger. With those three timeouts, that amount of time on the clock, I'm thinking about trying to get a touchdown and settle for a field goal. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Quick hitter here, it's complete. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. Mahomes to throw once more. Eluding the ball. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Go, go, go. 
Going to need better protection here. Third and long following the sack for Mahomes and company. Up the middle they go. Monroe. And he's going to be taken down right at the line. Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. And here's Dixon to punt now as he gets this one away. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. The Broncos going to go on offense now late in this first half. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting. They're looking for Judy, but it's intercepted. Trick McDuffie with a pick. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Well, they match their opponent's pick. Burn! 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 Consequential. Burn! This one plays out. Burn! You wonder if there's going to be some hesitation to lean entirely on the passing game to try to mount a counterattack. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Broncos are going to get one more possession in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And they're not going to go quietly into this halftime break. They know they're in for a fight, so they're trying to make every possession count. They took the big shot there, but it winds up incomplete. Back to the air on second down. It's Lance. Flushed out right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And that's caught inside the 35. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. And his kick here is good. And that'll bring him back within a point. So yes, they'll still be down going into intermission, but the deficit is now made even smaller. Very manageable. Yeah, and if nothing haywire happens here in his last couple of precious seconds. This is a crazy ass game, Chad. 28-27 out on the scoreboard. Fucking so still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. And not wanting to oh, man. Yeah. Oh. He'll just take oh. it and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The final second ticks by, and that's going to do it for the first half. Of a look around the NFL. We'll have to wait for postgame because we are moving right through halftime and on to the third quarter. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. Win or go home, that's the name of the game, and we're back underway with the second half of this AFC Divisional round. Here comes the Broncos offensive unit here as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter. And Charles, yeah, that had to be an interesting locker room at halftime. This is a team that's had so much success this year. Haven't really had to deal with a lot of adversity at halftime, to be honest. But now here they are with their... Williams loses the football. And it's picked up by the Chiefs. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. Here's Lance. 
out complete to Dulcich. The end result, 21 yards. From the gun, it's a run for Williams. Oh, that one well designed as he'll take this down to the 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. Being chased out left. Thrown across the field, and that will easily be intercepted. Trent McDuffie with a pick. And the Chiefs are going to take over here on the INT at their own five-yard line. KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. Open man right side, Myers. And he'll be out of bounds up past the 10-yard line. A run by Pacheco on second down. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. First down for the Chiefs. Solid chunk of yardage. Bob, bro. Mahomes going to throw. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. 23 yards, the final tally. Pacheco gets it up the gut. And down to the 44, five yards that time. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure you're back. You spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300 plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. 40 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. Again, it's Pacheco. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. A big hitter there, a first down gain of 26 yards. Running left to give to Pacheco. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco. Yo, yo. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Chiefs go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. Five. Extra point by Carson. Up and good. And the lead is up to eight. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. Because I'm making it for a YouTube video, bro. I'm doing a stream for a YouTube video. Now I don't want the face cam on a YouTube video for this game. But not an ideal way to end their previous drive. They threw the interception, Charles, after they had built up some momentum. They were moving the football. But something to at least build on for this offense as they run back out here. Yeah, you're right about that. Up until that last play, everything was working pretty well for this offense. Gaining chunks of yardage, getting first downs, really making a push for the end zone. It looked like they had a nice rhythm going. Now you got to have a short memory here. Don't focus on the interception. Focus on what came before it and get back to it. That one good for 37 yards. <laughs> well, this game has certainly had no shortage of offense. Both teams have been revved up from the start. And here's yet another big play. Boy, both defenses have just got to be dragging out there because they've been run ragged to well, Lance throws the interception, his third. Fuck. And the Chiefs are going to take over once again with a football at their own 20 yard line. Well, I get what he was trying to do. He was moving to his right and trying to shift the coverage, but instead he shifted the coverage also to the right and threw it right into it for an interception. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Here's a second and five now from the 25. Here's Mahomes to throw. That'll be caught. It's Tony. He's across midfield. Inside the 20. And he's going yeah, to well. all the way down to the 10 yard line. A big play there on the catch and run. 64 yards. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Now Mahomes. 
Escaping the pressure right. And he takes this in. Comes in for a Chiefs touchdown. Patrick Mahomes, a 10-yard touchdown run. And the Chiefs will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And the lead is up to 15 now. Cover six. All right, bro. We're going to see. We're going to see. Five. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Bronco offense now set to come back out onto the field. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. All right, guys, had your fun? All right, throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here, and sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. Now Lance unable to escape, and down he goes. Hell no. One quarter remains for the right to advance to the AFC. We're back now in KC. It's the Broncos trailing, but they do have possession of the football as we begin quarter number four. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. So many times we talk about I've, I've been treating him, bro. I mean, trash. Part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. Oh, he's going up top for Wilson. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. The Broncos unable to convert here on fourth. And boy, possession here turns over with the football already being in the red zone. On first down, Mahomes. That'll be caught by Rice. And the Chiefs are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six. Oh, Jeff Jefferson? No, I don't got him, bro. This is a different GM, bro. This is not the same one. It's what is known as a put away drive. You score here. I don't have Jeff Jefferson. I got a. I got a. They give him five that time as they draw a bit closer here for a second and goal. Oh, I have a uh, Gary Wilson and Judy. But we lost this game. And they'll run again. And this time he will score. Touchdown, KC. Everybody in the stadium knew what they were going to do right there, CD. Three tight ends on the field, all that extra bulk, and they run it in. And you saw where that one went, right? You run it over your best blocker. You can just see the head coach right now. I want to run this one over the big boy. <clears throat> Fuck. And they get it done. Fuck. I'm a touchdown. Ready to kick it away. He's going to smile like if I win the chip this shit. Look, he. Let's take yeah, it in at the goal line. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this. Hell yeah, these niggas losing these niggas. It's crazy. It's crazy because I just beat I just beat the Chargers in the wild card round. So it's just like that's crazy. They begin here with a first and ten on the wrong side of the scoreboard. That's caught the twenty-five. So the field flips here as they'll go to work at the twenty now on first and ten. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play. One that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. Flush to his right. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. The offense on third down. Just one for five to this point. Here it's third and two. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. They blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. And the Broncos are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Williams. Gonna be stopped before he can get moving forward as he'll lose I got Lance on this offseason, bro. This last offseason. Second and goal standing alone in the backfield is Williams. 
sliding out of the pocket. And he is into the end zone for a Denver touchdown. Trey Lance, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Broncos have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Eluding the pressure right to the end zone, but it's incomplete. I don't know about you, but I can't wait for a few years of two-point tries and see what the data tells us because a lot of teams want to throw the ball in this situation, this time unsuccessfully. I just wonder if maybe running the ball might be the way to go. With it moved up from the three to the two, you would think maybe a few more attempts of run. I think stats over time may bear out that running the ball will at least be the equal of throwing it in that situation. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. And Conley's got it over the middle. 28 yards the game there on the catch and run. Yeah, bro. Put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence, and they have a guy who's in control right now. Their trigger guy throwing it, they feel just as confident with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. On the handoff, it's Pacheco. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. They'll try and run for it. And he's going to take it into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco. Y'all got me, y'all got me, y'all got me this year respectfully, respectfully, I can't even be mad, I can't even be mad, y'all got me this year, can't even be mad, y'all got me this year, fuck, fuck this man, fuck, bro, this is about to be a dive video going up on the soup, these niggas trying to take dog shit out of me, these niggas smack me, and it was supposed to be, and it was 27, 28 and a half time, y'all, so, that's just, that's just crazy right there to me. Actually, the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. Get a look at Jerry Judy as he leads his offense back out there for this next series. Seems like the Y'all got me. I can't even lie. Gary Wilson, Judy, Jalen's good season. And as we analyze how he's getting him, that's where it really becomes fun because, let's face it, they keep sending coverage and at him, keep trying to put the pressure on, and he finds ways downfield and finds openings. That's a really crafty receiver. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Now we give up the middle to Williams. And a 42-yard line here and brought down there. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Throwing on first down is Lance. Oh, he'll air this one deep for Judy. And he's got it inside the ten. And he will be taken down, but it is a huge play there to flip field position. And they'll be on the other side of the field as we have reached the two-minute warning. They'll try and run. This is Williams. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a Bronco touchdown. Javante Williams taking it in from two yards out. And the Broncos get a bit closer. Well, that was a quick drive. The passing game set it up, and then the running game finishes it off. And how about how few plays it was to get it done, but they threw it downfield and then pounded it into the end zone. And as a former defender, I can tell you, it hurts just a little bit more when they run it into the end zone instead of throwing it. And now here comes Kansas City. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. we got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. And now we're going to get a timeout defensively. So another stop. 150 left in the football game. 
He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Now the Broncos going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. On third down, it's Pacheco. And he's going to be brought down short of the first at about the third. some extra yardage we all know it's an intense game and things can get heated out there that's part of the battle but bottom line you got to keep your cool that was not an example of doing that five points of contact necessary at this stage is a run first down and he will have a chiefs first down and that's the way that should seal the victory 107 yards rushing for now on 17 carries They'll run on first down. Monroe. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Another running situation on the doorstep as they come up second and ten. Well, that one caught by Rice. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos 26. Call it a gain of 11 yards, and that should just about do it. But when you're up by two scores in the fourth quarter, and you're going to throw the football, expect to see a lot of man coverage because usually what comes along with man coverage is pressure. So if you're a play caller and you want to keep throwing the football, that's fine. Just make sure your offensive line understands they're going to get additional guys running at the quarterback. Charles, if you're the coach of the losing team, Tragic. even though you made it to the playoffs, and there's part of that that feels good, 